Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how you can turn your Android phone into a webcam for your OBS live stream. Let's get started. All right, guys. So first things first, if you, you enjoy the content, go ahead and please hit the like button, subscribe, uh, ring the bell for notifications of future videos if you find this information useful. Also, if you have any questions about anything I'm going to talk about here in the video, head over to my live stream, twitch.tv slash Salta92. Um, uh, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday nights. Uh, so definitely check me out. Uh, I will be more than happy to answer any questions, comments, or concerns that you might have. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. A couple things that you're going to need first and foremost is you're going to need OBS. Uh, unfortunately, this does not work for Streamlabs OBS. So um, if you use, do use Streamlabs OBS, this, you're kind of out of luck. I will tell you though, however, there is a way to use your cell phone as a webcam in Streamlabs OBS, as well as Zoom and other things like that. So if you're interested in that, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, let me know, and I will make that video, okay? Um, but as for the sakes of this, for the sakes, for the sake of this video, we're gonna be using uh, OBS, okay? Because there's a couple, there's a specific way that you need to make this work. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to need to down, go to dev47, apps.com slash OBS. Okay. Now there's two things we're going to need to download. Okay. You're going to need to download the app and the plugin. If you click on the app right there, it'll say, get the free app. It works on Android and it actually works on iOS devices as well. So if you're interested in using your iPhone, great. Uh, there is a free and a pro version of this app. The pro version is $5. So $3 cheaper than Elgato's Epoch cam. And you can use it for your Android phone. So I don't know. Sound, it seems like a win-win to me. Uh, so I'm using it on Android. So if you just click on this, uh, you'll see, let me just close up these tabs right here. Uh, you'll see an install button. If you click that install button, it'll actually show you a list of devices that you're logged into. And then you can actually download the plugin to your phone directly from the web, from the Google Play website. So that's pretty cool. Can't do that from the Apple App Store. Sorry. <laughs> Um, then you will, what you'll do is you'll download the OBS plugin. Uh, it requires 64 bit OBS studio version 24 plus. So if you don't have that update your OBS and make sure you're using the 64 bit version. Uh, and then again, Streamlabs OBS is not supported, but after that you'll pick your operating system. I'm using windows. So you'll click here, you'll click save, you'll download, you'll run it. Okay. Do not run it while you are while you have OBS open. Okay. I already have it all installed, so I'm not worried about it, but you'll just click agree next. Uh, if you want to use Android or Apple, you'll choose that. I'm just going to leave it as both because why not? Uh, then it's going to tell you it's going to install it and you're going to just go through like normal. I'm just going to click abort because I already have it installed. Okay. And then when you open up your OBS, you're going to go here. And when you add your source, you're actually going you might be tempted to add a video capture device. But you're actually going to add a Droid Cam OBS device. Okay, and you're gonna name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine Pixel 3 XL because that's what I'm using. Um, and then you click OK. And then you'll see a couple different things going on here. You'll see resolution, video format, device, refresh device list, Wi-Fi IP, Droid Cam port, and activate. Um, you might get a little overwhelmed by this if you're not super savvy with networking and internet stuff. Um, but it's uh, to be put it really simply, um, basically you're just telling the plugin where to connect to. Okay. Easy peasy. Okay. Now, if you're going with the free version of the app, as far as resolution goes, you'll be pretty much locked into 640 by 480 and 960 by 720, unless you're cool with a watermark, in which case you can use 1280 by 720 and 1920 by 1080. Um, I, if I remember correctly, you can actually crop in a little bit and you can get rid of that uh, watermark. But for $5, I mean, if this is something you're going to use often, you might as well just get, get the pro version of the app. So, uh, definitely at least check that out. Uh, the developer recommends using AVC slash H264. So that's what we're going to use. I'm going to show you how to use the device over Wi-Fi, And then I'm going to show you how to use the device over USB. Okay. Now, if you're going over Wi-Fi, it's honestly pretty simple. So let me just show you real quick how to do that. So we'll open up our phone 
and you'll see when you open up the app, this is what you'll see. You'll see Wi-Fi IP, device IP, and then Droid Cam port. Okay, your information's most likely gonna look different than mine. Uh, so you'll go Wi-Fi IP when you go into OBS. Okay, you'll do, my Wi-Fi IP is 192.168.0.5, okay? And then my Droid Cam port was 1212. And then we'll zoom out, you'll click activate and I put in an extra five. Don't be like me. Don't don't be a don't be a potato. There it is. Hey, so this is what the 640 by what was it? 640 by 480 looks like. If you want to change the resolution of your camera, you do have to deactivate the device, turn it off, turn up the resolution, then reactivate it. Um, don't be a potato and type in the wrong information like me. <laughs> but uh, this is this is it. It's this, I mean it's a little dark. Uh, you'd want to go in and uh, I mean at least in my case, you know, probably brighten up that image a little bit, probably with a color correction filter. Right, you could turn up the brightness a bit and probably the gamma, maybe up the contrast a bit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's looking a little better. But anyway, so that's that's it. Now you have a your Android phone as a Wi-Fi camera. Pretty, pretty sick. Um, now, uh, if you're going, to, you'll notice there's a little bit of delay and latency. That's to be expected um, with with anything that you're doing over Wi-Fi. There's going to be a tiny bit of latency. Uh, let me show you how you can go about doing this though over USB. Okay. Now there's a couple extra steps that you're going to want to follow. Uh, so let's let me show you how you can do that okay so first things first we'll go over to our phone okay we're gonna go into our settings so we'll click the where's the settings thing there it is settings okay you're gonna go down to about phone and you need to enable developer options so to do that you're just gonna go down to your build number and you're gonna tap that a bunch of times um, whoops <laughs> Uh, you just tap that a bunch of times. I'm already a developer, so it's not gonna tell me anything. It's like, no need, you're already a developer. Uh, if you see that, you're good to go. Uh, just keep tapping, it'll tell you, tap it five, four, three, two, one more times, and then you'll enable developer mode. After that, you'll go back, and then you'll go to system, advanced, developer options. Now, obviously every Android phone is a little bit different, uh, so you're going to, this might differ for you a little bit, but that's generally how that works, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to USB debugging, okay? So you'll want to make sure that that is enabled. After that, you can close out of that, go back to the DroidCam OBS app, okay? And where we will now go to, uh, back to OBS, we'll double click into our source. You will connect the phone via UB USB, Okay, and you'll click here and you'll be like, oh, hey, this says use Wi-Fi. Where's my, where's my phone? I don't see it. I don't want to connect over Wi-Fi. You have to click refresh device list. Okay, after that, you'll click use Wi-Fi. Hey, there it is, Pixel 3 XL. Okay, and then you'll click activate. And bada bing, bada boom. There it is. Hey, how's it going? Hey, yeah. This is much better, much better, see? much less latency it is a 30 fps camera so that's why if you it's not as smooth as my 60 fps camera here um that that's why and plus my phone is vibrating <laughs> so um that's how you do it it's really simple really easy really cool uh and on top of that all you get a really nice big high quality camera and it works super solid guys you just get put that in a phone stand a little phone claw thing you know and and you're good to go hey guys future sam here i just wanted to point out a quick feature of droid cam obs that i realized i completely forgot while i was editing this video um so let me show you that really quick so if you go to your display we'll come over here we'll zoom in for you guys so you recall how there's the wi-fi ip right the 192.168.0.5 that i typed in right and then there's the droid cam port uh if you do colon 1212 slash remote, right? And you hit enter. It should pull up a little website for you. And you might be like, oh, but 
Sam, I don't want to have to open up a website every single time I want to use this remote, right? Which is actually a super cool remote. Like you can see it's turning on, it's turning on the flash right now. I turned on the flash on my phone. I can turn that off, turn it on, turn it off. All, right, all from that remote. Now, the cool thing that you can do with this is if you take this, copy it, okay, control C, right click copy, however you want to do that, see, right click copy. You minimize that, open up your OBS, see, and you'll see here's my Droid Cam camera, okay. Now, something to keep in mind is even if you're doing it over USB like I am now, you'll want to make sure that you're typing in the Wi Fi IP and the Droid Cam port, okay. So, whether you're doing it over Wi Fi or USB, I still recommend putting that in. Okay, so we'll click OK here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go up here to View, Docs, Custom Browser Docs. You're gonna give this a doc name. We're gonna call this uh, yeah, Remote, let's see, Droid Cam Remote. And then a URL, you're gonna paste the URL and you'll notice it puts in an HTTP colon slash slash at the beginning. Okay, you'll click Apply. And you'll notice that you have this little window and you can slap this little window over here and then you have access to your um, to your remote for your webcam just right there in OBS so you can close that out but then you know it's got like autofocus uh, exposure lock exposure value you can change the exposure hey look now my camera's brighter hooray because I turned up the exposure uh, white balance you can change that right that's actually very nice. Hello. Anyway, I just want to make sure that you guys saw that and that you knew that you could do that. Um, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, again, hit me up in Twitch, comment section, whatever you want, and I'd be more than happy to help you out. Okay, bye. Um, if you have any questions about how any of this works, like I said, I'm, I do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Uh, so definitely reach out, hit us up, ask me any questions you might have. Uh, I'm more than happy to answer anything that you have, any questions, comments, concerns. Uh, also, if you did enjoy this video, please, 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 uh, leaving a like, uh, subscribing, leaving comments, all of that kind of stuff helps put my content out in front of other people to help them out as well. Um, so if you're interested, definitely, 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 please, please, please help me out. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Guys, you're awesome. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.